Ride to Hell. Let's see what this one is about at the IMDb plot to start. A small town farmer exacts his bloody revenge on unscrupulous town folk who try to steal his land. Ooh, unscrupulous. Let's pull out the, the words here. Oh, Lord. Okay, anyway. Uh, hey, Ride to Hell. Uh, let's uh, say, uh, let's get it out of the way at the top here. Got a screener for this one. This one's a new film, so hopefully you guys get a chance to check this out uh, very soon. Uh, uh, basically, you know, one of the main reasons I wanted to see this one is, uh, you guys notice, kind of look into it, uh, Bill Mosley and Kane Hodder are in this one, two horror icons. Uh, two fan favorites, uh, you know, if you like them both, one or the other, or whatever, uh, so if you're, you know, in it for them, uh, definitely you're going to check this one out, um, Bill has been in a couple ones I've seen kind of recently, uh, the uh, other one, uh, was it Natty Knox, uh, he was in that one, I believe, uh, that I saw recently. Still got to do a review for that one. So look look for a review coming soon for that one, too. Um, anyway, back to the point. Uh, hey, Ride to Hell. Uh, I've always, you know, this is a great kind of setup. I've always wanted to go on a, a hay ride. Uh, not to hell. Not to hell. Uh, I, I keep it here uh, on Earth in a, in a safe, <laughs> safe setting here. Uh, but definitely on a hay ride. Uh, like haunted hayride. Let, let's put it that way. I I've been on, on, sort of one, but it really wasn't that scary. It was just you know whatever. Um, but yeah, I I would really like to go on one kind of like this kind of theme, but definitely definitely safer right now with what happens here. Um, so yeah, let let's just kind of jump into to what is happening here real quick. Uh, we'll try to keep this spoiler free. Um, as possible, but there's not, you know, really much to, to spoil here. Uh, you're pretty much going to know what's going to happen here real soon. So, uh, anyway, uh, Bill plays the farmer here, and Kane plays a the town sheriff. So let's just put, you know, give them their, their characters here. And the center of the story is definitely um, Bill's character. He's the farmer, and... Every year, his him and his, you know, uh, going back in his family's time there on the farm, have put on these hay rides, these haunted hay rides, um, where you know a lot of town folk come and and have fun and 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 so forth uh, and enjoy the the festival. It's like kind of like a little festival going on to celebrate the Halloween season, the haunting season here, and um, but not everybody's a fan of this. And uh, that's where the, the problem lies uh, here as a group of, of townspeople here. Um, I don't know if they were the council or whatever. Uh, also, or, or he, owes, he owes some money on the land. And uh, it is time if he doesn't pay, you know, they can take back the land and take back the farm. So, you know, that's one problem he, in, he has. Um, besides obviously this long, uh, rivalry with the sheriff who doesn't like him and, uh, also a couple other people here. So he has some enemies, uh, along the way, but he also has a lot of friends. So basically an event happens where early on, where you kind of get an introduction to kind of the haunting and the hate ride and, and a little bit of the fun that's going on there. Uh, you get an incident where some kids are on his property defacing uh, a small graveyard that he has kind of a little off to the side. Uh, I believe it is an actual graveyard, not part of the haunting process here. And uh, in the process of him going out there, uh, an incident occurs where he kind of gets, uh, you know, I won't go into the exact details, but he kind of gets injured in the process. And uh, there's a run-in with the sheriff and the sheriff's deputy. And, uh, you know, you, you, that kind of leads to events down, you know, s soon after where these people that want to kind of had enough of the farm and had enough of the hayride and, and all this nonsense. Um, they want to call him alone and take the property for him. Uh, but he makes a deal with them that says basically, 
for them to be the judges and for them to come on one last hayride uh, with him. And if he cannot scare them sufficiently enough, he will give up everything and move away. And of course, you know, they're like, oh, well, we can't pass up this deal. You know, of course, we're, you know, they're going to say no, that it didn't scare them and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And we'll take the land, blah, blah. That's their side of it. But of course, as us horror fans know that <laughs> these people are in trouble. This is not going to end well <laughs> for them if they think they're just going to get on this hayride and uh, nothing bad is going to happen to them. So uh, eventually, you know, so we go through this whole thing where he, him and, and you know, some of his closest friends and buddies and so forth uh, set up the hayride and uh, basically to make it the scariest, bloodiest hayride ever uh, for these people. And then, you know, these townspeople, the sheriff, the deputy, and whatever, they get on the hayride and go. And as horror fans, you know, I, I don't really need to explain. That's why I said there's not really much to spoil. You know, we, we know we know what's going to happen here. So then, you know, the, the, the fun and the horror, horror really begins. Um, so with that, you know, I kind of leave it there. Uh, you know, I would say, you know, you know, it is a, it, I wish I would, we see maybe a few more of these movies, you know, Hayride kind of themed movies. I also like Scarecrow movies. I wish we'd see more of those, maybe a combination of. So if you're a filmmaker out there, let's do a combination. Sounds good. Um, but, you know, it just kind of sets up for just, you know, a good way to kill people off and a little bit of something different that we don't usually see. So uh, I didn't think the movie took itself too, too seriously. Um, there's some light humor sprinkled in, in there. Um, maybe it'll make you laugh. Maybe you'll just be like, eh. Um, you know, the acting is okay. Um, I definitely, you know, again, I'll say if you're a fan of Bill, if you're a fan of Kane, uh, you probably enjoy them, seeing them on screen again. Um, definitely both without mask on, both not in makeup, you know, crazy makeup on or being you know, these crazy wild characters that, that they've been, slashers and crazy people, um, you know, kind of trying, you know, you got one a farmer, one a sheriff, so trying to be, you know, kind of normal. Um, obviously, you know, Bill's carriage is a little off, but still. Um, and you're going to get to see some fun interaction between Bill and Kane, their, their characters. They, like I said, they don't like each other. So there is some fun interaction between them. And uh, <clears throat> also some fun interaction between Kane and his deputy. His deputy is uh, not the, the, the sharpest tool in the tool shed here. And uh, he definitely takes it to him. So you get a, a fun uh, look at Kane kind of, you know, just looking down and making fun of his deputy there. So I thought that that was some fun times uh, to go in there. So it, it does have a little bit of a comedy side to it. Like I said, probably on the lighter side, I wouldn't necessarily call this a, a horror comedy, but it is definitely sprinkled in there. Um, and it de again, I don't think the movie took itself too seriously. You just kind of go with, with, with what they kind of put together here. Um, obviously there's going to be some horror. Like I said, there's some death scenes. Uh, some are better than others. Uh, some are a little bit more interesting. Like I said, it's kind of set up in, in the, the hayride as they go through. So some of the death scenes are, are I, I, I approved of. I, I thought they were well done and, and, and definitely interesting in the way they tied it in with the, uh, with the hayride and, and so forth. Um, there's one in particular that kind of bothered me and, and, and uh, just kind of give you the briefs of it I guess it involves a, there's a small lake there and uh, somebody comes out of the lake to 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 uh, exact their revenge or, or their horror the horror in the, in the, that they're going on here and my biggest problem there was the person that comes out of the water you know, kind of had a costume on but didn't really have a mask on and you know it just it just seemed weird or just wrong. Like that person just, it, it bothered me. I don't know why. I, I, I mean, a nitpick at the, you know, there, there's, you know, if you really want to be serious with this movie and nitpick, you, you probably could have nitpicked at a few other things. 
for whatever reason, that just bothered me. I, it bothered me that this person didn't have a mask on or makeup or something. I understand they were in the water and 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 they came out of the water. So, you know, I, I understand why they maybe didn't, but it just bothered me. And, and then just the whole way they, they just executed the, the, the scene here with, with the person coming out of the water then getting the person that they get just it, I don't know it, it it seemed like one of those things that was more good in theory but just didn't turn out as well I, I don't know that one particularly bothered me uh, others I was okay with um, and, and like I said some are obviously better than, than others um, and you know it, it gets a little exciting at the end nothing too extreme um, like I said you know you can't take it too seriously you you know you, there, there's you know a couple other things you could have nitpicked at I'm sure um, you know if you, if you, you really want to hammer it um, but you know there are other things I let go it's just that that one scene just it just bothered me like it, it just it needed I, I liked what they were going for you know maybe they just couldn't do it with a mask but that just bothered me <laughs> I don't know whatever um, anyway so yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, this is, you know, just another good movie to kind of throw in with your, your kind of October Halloween kind of fun here. So uh, hopefully you guys get to check it out and definitely uh, once again enjoy performances by, by Kane and, and Bill. I know, you know, when we get horror icons like this, um, you know, we, we horror fans from, from back in the day when, when, when their prime movies came out, you know, really became fans of them, but, you know, we don't get to see them in those roles anymore, and then we get these reboots and re-sequels without them, so you kind of miss them, but then, you know, every once in a while, they, they, they manage a, a role in, in these movies, so it, it's good to, to see them uh, up there and, and enjoy their performances yet again, um, especially Kane when, when he gets to talk, because obviously back in the day, we didn't get to see him in too many movies where he gets to talk. So definitely getting to see him anytime he gets a, a speaking role, it's, it's fun times. Uh, and I even get more kick out because I've, I've met him a couple of times. So just, just get a kick out of it. So uh, anyway, um, with that, I'm going to give this one 2.5 pools of blood. Um, you know, like I said, you know, not the most serious of horror movies, but they put together, you know, a, a fun one here. Um, you know, they got some horror icons in there for, for you guys to check out. And, uh, you know, I, I like the setup. And like I said, we, we just need more hay rides that are haunted like this and, and to do that. So um, with that, again, that's 2.5 pools of blood uh, out of five. So, uh, again, new movies. Hopefully you guys get to check that out. And um, with that, Horrors Glory Reviews. Blogspot.com is where you can find all the reviews, uh, written and video. Obviously doing more video reviews lately. But if you want to go back in time, there are plenty of written reviews there. And I promise to write a review again at some point. Um, uh, so if you're just interested in the video reviews, like, subscribe, do all those things that everybody wants you to do. If not, no worries. It's okay. Uh, but please swing over to the shorts and at least, you know, check those out. Uh, trying to keep you guys, give you a little fun and keep you guys informed. Um, and with that, Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. Uh, feel free to reach out for me to me there for reviews, um, talk horror, whatever you need there. And obviously down in the comment section, um, you know, throw in if you eventually get to see this movie, your comments of, of it. And uh, definitely any other movies that, that you like with Bill and Kane in it. Um, or would you like to see more movies with them together? Hey, why not? Uh, let's do a, a Haunted Hay Ride Part 2. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, anyway, with that, I guess I will catch you on the next review, horror fans.